Got you some billet hinges. And trunk hinges. And trunk. Eddie Motorsport. Yep. And then you brought up the heat yesterday too. Are those new? Out of a Camaro. Camaro. I don't know what year, but he got them yesterday. Got the rear billet hinges installed. Working on the hood. Got the rear end shortened and built up. Yep. I'm gonna see how long it takes somebody to say something about the caliper on the opposite side. I noticed that. Y'all noticed that? Calipers are flip flop. Is there a reason for that? That's how that kit sets them up. Huh. On the instructions it says staggered with staggered. asterisks next to it, so. <clears throat> I don't think we've seen that before. I've not. But the owner said he was okay with it, so that's what matters. We got a 67 Mustang convertible in doing a uh, new steering column. Josh is working on that. What kind of steering column is this thing? Hydro, <coughs> hydromatic or something? What kind of steering column is that? It's got like a electric motor on the side of it. Yeah. So it's like electric power steering. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but might be under the dash. Got like an electric motor, kind of like the new steering and new, new cars today. But we're working on that. A couple of leaks the owner has. Trying to work those out for him. Carter, the internet wants to know when you're gonna be done. Carter wants to know when he's gonna be done. Carter wants. Yeah. You gotta grind all them wheels. Yeah. All that. All that. All that. And I gotta make a lift. And then I'm done. Got Are you yesterday. sure? Yes. We actually got fired yesterday. I did. You I'm got not. fired yesterday? Yeah. How come you back today? You didn't take him seriously? Huh. Was he upset? He said if I didn't finish it yesterday that I was fired. Oh. I said I'll get my stuff tomorrow. But I ain't going to leave a job unfinished, I guess. <laughs> so flush mount will be done. This too. Huh? Gloves and a long sleeve shirt on. Oh, you you talking about that social media post we did? I got this too. I don't have any safety glasses right now, but you know, I have them. You talking about you welding with uh, no helmet on the other day? Yeah. I'm gonna get heptoreptoseptosemia. Heptoreptoseptosemia. You didn't think I could repeat that, did you? Heptoreptoseptosemia. I'm 80% impressed. 80? 80%. Dang, what could have been made it at 100? I mean, that was pretty doggone good. But see, I, I somewhat expected it is what. Oh, okay. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Once I finish that, and then lip. Booyah. 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 Done. You put in the hydromatic. What's that in Greece? How they say the hydromatic, systematic. You know what I'm talking about? Ultramatic. Ultramatic. Steering column in? Yeah. That's an oddball, ain't it? It's definitely weird. I'm trying to figure out why the horn continuously blows. You put it all together, put the steering wheel on it, the horn button, and hook everything up, hook the battery up, and the horn blows. Hmm. Grounding through everything. I don't believe it's supposed to be grounding. See, anything it touches, it's gonna make it go anything, off. Anything, any little sliver of metal that's touching something, anything. I mean, and it's weird. I can hook that up and take that and put it right there. There's a random socket sitting there. See the on meter, look. 
mm -hmm. goes off. It, it grounds off. It grounds off the shifter. Hmm. It's got got ground everywhere. So it's grounded. There's something definitely touching something that ain't supposed to be touching something. That's usually the case. You're touching something you ain't supposed usually, to be touching something. Yeah, it's usually the case. Something's touching something that ain't supposed to be touching something. No, you touching something that ain't you ain't supposed to be touching. No, 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 no. No? No. Not your fault? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think this one's my fault. I don't believe this one is. All right, let's get an update on the Bronco. Yesterday, got the uh, bumpers painted. They'll have to be striped. Grills painted. And Big Block is in the paint booth now, painting something else. Let's see if he just came in or... Yeah. Oh, Big Block! What's up? What you painting? Painting you... some horsepower. Oh, you, you spraying out horsepower? Yeah. Dang! Spraying out the gun. Right out the gun? Yep. Yeah. When y'all want some more fire, come get yourself. Y'all want me to come get it. Crater Rods and Restoration. You know why? We've been bringing that classic back to life, baby. Uh huh. I think I'm playing around. I think you've been. You think I'm playing? You know what? Just come on down here and give it a shot. I think you've been sniffing too much paint fumes, is what I think. Too much pain. I don't have no clue what you're talking about. Hey, what do you think about that? Thirsty. <laughs> what do you think about that backdraft cloak Cobra that left the last week? I like it a lot. That ain't sharp, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And uh, we already have word from the customer himself. And he loves it. We also have word that we've had some locals see him driving this thing around why he's smart he built it and he's driving he drives what he's got he drives it. he's got what kind of porsche does he drive a gt2 something gt2 three one of them you might ask a uh, hundred thousand dollar plus one he drives it every day don't he oh i think it's like 250 something oh yeah it's it's up there you have to ask a carter on that he's big into that yeah you know. GT3 or something like that. Yeah, that's about right. So you painting the engine bay on the Bronco? Painting the uh, block. The block? Uh, yeah, you know. We'll do that first because it's going to be easier to wrap that to do the rest of it. But you know what? What? We got direct orders from the owner that we can't show any more of the Bronco until it's done. Really? Yeah, because he wants to wait and do a photo shoot with the Bronco and the Cobra, so. It's going to be sweet. So we're going to have to. something for you folks out there to look forward to. We're going to have to hold off on it. Well. It's going to be hard. The only way they're going to find out is uh, you just got to keep watching shop walk. I got to make sure I don't accidentally get it in the background of another shot. Yeah. In the future. Might get one in black. I don't know how you blur out part of the screen. We'll have to learn that. Well, I'm sure you can figure out. Because I like to blow out. There's a good way to check. I, I like to blur out some of yours. <laughs> oh, I need to. But I think I, can I walk in there and see if you can get it in black? I think you can get it in black. Yeah, 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 you He don't need them. Yeah. Now what what you done to your your face now? Something looks different. You done shaved it off again? You didn't shave it all the way off. You you got you one of them one of them uh, shavers that just does the scruff look, huh? Did you get your hair cut too? What else did you do? Put contacts in? Brush your teeth? Oh, that's it. You brush your teeth. I leave a little fuzz because if I shave it smooth, then it'll look like a little bit of ball. Like I should get an ice cream truck and a white man. Oh, goodness. Hey, we got a 
we got to pick out a color seat belt for the scout. Huh. Desert tan, light tan. Probably dark brown. You think dark brown? Well, you got to remember they're going to get dirty. Let's see. What do y'all think? By the time this comes out, it's already going to be done, but I'll ask you what y'all going to think. <laughs> so we got the brown in the carpet. Or, what is that? Brown and dark brown. You got ivory. Desert tan. I think it's between them. Brown, dark brown, desert tan, or ivory. Or orange. Well, there is an orange on there, but we're not doing that. We've already got too much orange. What do y'all think? Comment below. Hey, y'all look for us on TV. What you mean? We're going to the pro motocross from Jacksonville, Florida. When? Florida. We're leaving today. In oh, two hours. Two and a half hours. Oh, that's right. We're flying, ain't we? Yep. Where's Josh at? Greaseball don't know this. He's scared to death of flying. <laughs> hey, did y'all go get him some Budweiser's and start drinking before we leave? We're going to get him really drunk and leave him down there. <laughs> hey, did, did y'all like my thing about Grease Boss first time out in the John boat? Oh, um, yeah. I bet he goes home at night, and he's got his John boat sitting there on his saw horses, and he sits up in it drinking his beer with his Budweiser shirt, casting his rod and reel across the yard. You need to stay the hell away from my house. <laughs> hey, hey, they ain't heard, heard Travis's new nickname. You ain't heard Travis's new nickname. Carter? Bilge Pump. Bilge Pump? Bilge Pump. Yep. Explain. Well, he keeps grease ball from sinking. <laughs> Everybody else likes it. <laughs> I walk through and Carter said, Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
I guess you're the topic of conversation today, huh? I, I believe I am, and I don't know why. I didn't do anything to deserve this. I've been limited to three questions a day to Uncle T. He's Uncle T now, not Professor T anymore. He's I thought Uncle it was Bilge Pump. No, he's Uncle T. Uncle T. Yeah, like Uncle Jesse off Full House. Is that because you're working on a Model A? You thinking a Model T? No. Uncle T? No. 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 What year is it? Is this 29, 30? 31. 31. What you working on? Well, um, had a kink in the vacuum line going to the brake booster, so I ran a hard line from probably about here, over here, and put an elbow on it to where it's not kinked anymore. Then I rebled the brakes. Um, found a found a tear in the rubber seal for the cap on the master cylinder. So put another one of those in, and we'll see how the brakes feel now. Customer well, I think that were, might solve the problem. It might. Customer said it felt like they were hanging up or something or another. So. Have just some, weren't working properly. Did have did have some air in the front brakes. Got that out. Fixed a few little odd end things. So. That's a sharp ride right it is, there. It is a very, very nice car. Why not? If we leave from here and we go to that airport, I'm kicking everybody's ass. Everybody. I don't even care. Just people working at the airport. I'm just gonna get out of the truck and start kicking everybody's ass. I, Why are you so scared of flying? Have I, you ever flown on a on a on an airliner? No. You've never flown at all. I've never been. It's an experience on you need to. In the air. You need to experience mm -hmm. that. Hey, let me ask you this: one day, for real, one day, could I just take you around the pattern of the airport? A quick flight. Would you do that? Very doubtful. We're in landing distance. You're also in crashing distance. Mm -mm. I've seen Top Gun. Mm -mm. I know what happened to Goose. Hey guys, thanks for watching Shop Walk 86. We appreciate it, but you know what it's time to do. It's time to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get a notification every time we upload a new video. Now, we appreciate you watching. Y'all have a wonderful weekend because we know it's Friday. Y'all don't get too crazy out there. See ya. Hey y'all, I'm Miranda with Creative Rods. Don't forget to like, share with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.